Hi, today I'm going to talk about my absolute favourite makeup brushes. Lots of people have asked me what they are. Now, please don't try attempt to do this at home because I have about 300 brushes all in all because I've been collecting them for years and years and years. I take about 100 brushes when I go on a job. You don't need that many. No one does. Um, it's only because I'm obviously sometimes I make up lots of models so I need lots and lots of brushes but these are my absolute favorites so starting with the face I like quite small face brushes the only big brush I use is this Suku powder brush this face brush the only reason I like it is because it's very very tapered so unlike some of the big wide um, brushes you can buy for powder with this one you can really get into quite small areas so it's great brilliant for the neck and fantastic for highlighter or bronzer on the body the foundation brush that I like is this one by number seven and again it's quite small very very dense very good for being very directional and getting in there some foundation brushes are quite wide and a bit longer and I find they sort of flap around all over the place so I like this small and very compact type of um, foundation brush for powder I like very small brushes again my probably favorite has been this I think it's a blusher brush by Sue Devitt it's around 11 years old in fact I just bought myself a new one last week you can see the, the color difference and these are just great for flicking off powder so great for things like HD powder because you need to more or less flick most of it off and just really good for getting into small areas and sort of buffing on powder very very good the other sort of powder brushes I like, again, I think it's a blusher brush by Suku, but Suku brushes are the softest brushes I've ever found. I mean, they do feel like a sort of kitten's paw. When I use these on people when I'm doing their makeup, they almost sends them to sleep. So these are just lovely for sort of dusting on powder. Very, very smooth. And again, nicely tapered and not too big. Now for blusher, I like, um, this is a classic, MAC blusher brush, which is a great one. I've had this probably in my kit for years and years and years. Again, not too big, quite directional, very tapered, very dense. And also the two Suku ones, slightly larger one, and also there's a nice, small, very small, compact one. And again, these are just incredibly soft, so lovely for buffing on. Very directional blusher. I don't like brushes that get, especially big blusher brushes tend to you get the blusher on it's too wide it doesn't work for contouring I think probably the best one on the market is the MAC 109 you can use the Suku brushes as well because they I often do um, and this is just great for quite strong if you want to get on a good amount of product very very dense and very directional I like fan brushes and this is probably my favorite but I think it's about 13 years old and it's an old benefit one I think it's worn down so nicely that it's become my favorite fan brush for applying highlighter powder powder highlighter um, and just sort of getting into the eye socket area as well now for concealer sometimes I use my eye blending brushes for buffing it and other times I lay it down flat I'll use a big brush like this which is the number seven one which is very very dense indeed so it's really good for larger areas so if I'm doing sort of around the mouth or some pigmentation or something very good uh, I have two synthetic ones that are favorites one Sephora and one is Shimura the Shimura one is very pointed and very tapered at the end so great for sort of getting into little areas maybe around the corners of the eyes and the Sephora one is much much flatter and splayed so again sort of good for just flat areas where you just want to smooth concealer in for pinpoint concealing i'm crazy about this kevin o'quan one because it's minute and it's very very pointy and very sort of stabby and it's just perfect for those little tiny flaws little blemishes that you want to cover really successfully it's so directional it's very good now for eyes my all-time favorite brushes are the Paula Dorf brushes and I love all of these. These are my favorite eye brushes ever. They used to sell them in the UK in Space NK. They don't anymore, which is a tragedy. I have to buy them when I go to the States or you can buy them online. 
They have one very similar to the MAC 217, which I'm going to talk about as well in a, in a second. So that's lovely, a little bit bigger than a MAC 217, so it's good if you're doing a quite a big socket, somebody's got a bigger eye, or if you're doing quite a, a big makeup. They also have an amazing one, which is like a tapered brush, but it's been chopped off at an angle, and that's brilliant for getting right into, if you're doing a very sort of precise cut crease, very, very good for that. My favourite ever, ever, ever eye brush is the Smoke Lid by Paula Dorf. And this is an extraordinary brush because it looks like it's had an accident and been chopped off and like it's going to be no good for anything. But it's incredibly dense and it's so well tapered that when you use it, even though it's very large, the amount of bristles that go onto the... The, the amount of space it takes up is tiny. It feels like you're using the smallest brush. And this is so precise for either small eyes or if you want a very definite crease, it's the best. And then the, she also has an eye blender brush, which is a huge brush and just gorgeous for blending in all of that across there. Just fantastic for if you're doing a big look, just getting everything really soft, very, very generous. The other two brushes that I like are the, um, there's two by Suku. One's a bit like a smaller version of the Paula Dorf Eye Blender. And this is lovely for very directional shading as well down the center of the nose. Soft as anything, so lovely for just blending in a little bit more directional than the Paula Dorf one. And then another one by Suki, which is quite dense, very good for smoking underneath. Um, that's a lovely brush. A couple of cheaper dupes for those are the um, oh, I must talk about the Mac uh, 217 first, one of the all time favourite brushes. This is just a classic. It's smaller than the Paula Dorf one, the sheer crease. It's, it's stumpier, it's sort of fatter, it's fluffier, so it's just lovely for buffing in concealer, for buffing in eye crease for going underneath, very, very soft and just a, a classic all-rounder. And the cheaper dupes on those are the Daniel Sandler, which is the blending brush, which again has a lot of similarities to the MAC and the Paula Dorf brushes, very good for creating a crease. And a smaller one, which is a bit like the Suki ones, is the Gemma Kid, and this is the Deepen. And this is for little small bits of deepening into the crease, quite small, lovely for underneath as well. Now for smoking in eyeliner, I have two favourites, the Professional Sephora, Sephora Professional it's called, and the Laura Mercier Smoky Eyeliner Brush. And these are great because they're very, very dense, but they're very, very pointy at the ends. So if you have any sort of cold pencil, you can get in there and really smudge it, but still have it look like a nice, precise line. Now onto lips. I have two favourite lip brushes. The Paula Dorf one is great because it's so tapered and long and elegant. You can really get right into those corners. It's very, very precise and it's just lovely to use. And also the Bobbi Brown lip brush. And this is smaller. It's very small, but it's really good for working in lipstick really well into the lips and also for getting in to those corners. It's nice and small and precise. And last but not least is um, an eyebrow brush that I use, which is um, an RMK one. And I love this because it's really, really short and stumpy and it's at an angle and it's just great for filling in with powder. Again, it's very precise. You can get it, the powder to go exactly where you want to go. So that's it. They are my absolute favourite brushes. Most of them I've had for years and years. And good brushes are a very good investment. Make sure you always wash them properly. The best way to wash them is just with a very cheap conditioning shampoo. That's what I use. Just make sure you get all the makeup out, rinse them thoroughly, pull them back into shape, and leave them to dry over the edge of a table. And if you do that, you'll have them forever. Thanks for watching.